Pretty cool, huh? Hickok 45. That's what we're going to be taking a few shots at. What we have here is Remington 700 Tactical. You know me, I like to be tactical. Actually, this is a firearm uh, lent to us, brought by by Eric from NC Silencers. Remington 700, it's uh, been threaded by the owner to accept a suppressor. Now, it's pretty hard to silence, quote unquote, the 223. <laughs> pretty fast little round. However, there's some things you can do with it. You can, you can bring down the decibels to the point where it's uh, not so ear crushing and difficult to tell you know, where the sound came from. And uh, I know that's been done a lot. And as Eric has uh, pointed out to us, with a bolt action gun, that's uh, you can really suppress something that you, it's more efficient, I guess, with suppressors. So this is about as good as you can do uh, in terms of suppressing, putting one on a bolt action gun. But uh, but this is not going to be quiet. Uh, we don't we're not shooting subsonic ammo or anything. We're shooting standard 55 grain ball ammo out of it. And just going to take some shots. I've had a lot of requests to actually shoot a uh, Remington 700. So I wanted to, uh, to, to show this and, and shoot a little bit at, at long range. I'm not a long range, scope sighted sort of guy, but it's kind of fun for a, for a change because this is an accurate uh, rifle, I guess, if there ever was one. It has a Vortex uh, Viper 6x24 on it, which is a really nice uh, <laughs> scope. I'm just going to leave it where it's set and uh, take a few shots. We're not shooting any exotic ammo, just some PMC stuff I had. I'm going to throw it in there and uh, take a few shots with it. As you can see, it's a it's a really nice rig, and uh, I really won't do it service, but we're gonna take a couple shots with it. We're gonna go, we're back up here to where we can get 250 yards uh, out there to the, the long range targets, and we're gonna see if we can hit anything from, from here at it. I've got five rounds in, in the magazine. And let's look through this little scope here, see if I can spot anything over there get myself positioned I mean this could be you in the deer woods right you find a tree with a limb here that you can rest on and instead of Bambi you're not seeing any Bambis but you do find a steel plate like I just did let's see if I can hit that thing oh wow that's pretty amazing you know, it wasn't all that loud. I didn't have my ears on. I don't need them. <laughs> cool. I'll try that. I'm gonna try. Uh, I'm gonna try that tall monolith over there. That uh, target. See if I can come close to it. Oh, it's thin. Yeah, I knew I was going right. Well, this thing feels like quality. Yeah, it's a little bit better rest. Okay. I got him or not. He might fall as well as plinking at him. I don't think the others will with a 223. They might. Never know. Oh well. I knew I was to the right when I let it go. Okay. Got a nice trigger. Wow. Ooh, almost got him. I tell you what, a a, uh, a scope is really nice. You can see everything, but one thing about it, it doesn't matter how well you can see it. It has to be uh, you have to have the rifle perfectly still when uh, you know you're ready to shoot. And a lot of ways, all a scope does for me, shooting standing, is it magnifies the uh, the movement. Now, if I was on a bench, I you know it's just amazing. You know, I would never miss. I can tell that this thing is right on. And uh, my problem is laterally. I'm, I'm moving back and forth laterally. Probably get a better stance here. Okay, let's try it again. A couple shots. I think I'll do a, I put one on the big plate. I saw all the big, so I'll put one on the plate. Really need to drive. I'll get my feet in a better position here. I might be able to do better. Okay. Alright, at the plate. I'll go back for that tall, thin one again here now. Mm, 
Well, that felt better, but not quite. Let's try him again. <laughs> Should have had him. Got a more stable footing here. This feels a lot better. All right. All right. <laughs> yeah, we got a couple more. We'll try another one of those. Yeah, let's try a small one over there. All right, poppy. Cool. We have one more to put on the plate. I can see the uh, fascination with uh, rifles like this. It's pretty neat. No doubt about it. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I mean, to be 250 yards away and just not be a problem, uh, especially if you can get a rest at all and uh, really zero in with that thing. That is, that is quite a rig. Uh, Remington 700, I had a 243 in the Remington 700 back in the early 70s. And uh, that thing was a tack driver, I recall. I had a three to nine Redfield wide angle uh, scope on it. And uh, I, I just had that for a few years, but it would just drive nails. And boy, this thing, I can tell, would very low recoil. And with a, the varmeter suppressor on there, not much sound. So that's very pleasant to, to shoot. I, I can see the uh, owner just really enjoying this rifle. So Remington 700, uh, pretty cool, pretty cool. Life is good.